Hi everyone, we're going to look at how to do a composition of transformations on the coordinate grid. So a composition basically is just a combination of more than one transformation. So what we've got to do is follow the steps here in order. So we're going to first rotate, we're going to then translate, and then we're going to reflect. So we're going to rotate this shape first 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So I'm going to take a copy of this picture so that I can turn it. And we can look at the new version after we do the, our rotation. So here's the original. If I rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, that looks like this, where the new location of everything is just kind of turned um, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So you'll notice here, everything moves one box. A and B were in quadrant three, now they're in quadrant four. C was in quadrant two, and now it jumped to quadrant three because we're going 90 degrees counterclockwise, that's how it kind of rotates. So we're going to graph these new locations, looking at our answer over here, that'll tell us how to graph it on the other grid on the right, our original graph. So when you're doing this on paper, just simply take your paper, turn it according to the directions to look at the new locations, and then kind of turn it back for each point. So when you turn it, you'll see A is now from our center point, from the origin. A is one to the right and three down. Then turn it back, and we want to go from the origin, one to the right, and three down. That'll be our new location at A, A prime. B from the origin, if you turn it again, 90 degrees counterclockwise. B is at seven to the right, and one down from the origin. It's always from the center point. So seven to the right, one down would be right over here. That's B prime. And then C. Again, turning at 90 degrees counterclockwise, looking at the turn version over here. C is 6 to the left of 0 and 2 down. So we go back to the original, 6 to the left, 2 down, and that's the new location of C over here. Now we're just going to connect these to make our triangle. And it should look like what we've got on the left. And it looks, looks pretty accurate, I think. Okay, so step 1 is done. Now we're going to do step 2. Step 2 is the translation of x minus 3, y minus 5. So what does this mean? Well, the x's are always lefts and rights. So if it's x minus 3, that's going to be left 3. If it was plus, it'd be right. y minus 5 is going to be down 5. So if it was plus there, it'd go up. So we're going to take our new version of the shape here, and we're going to move it according to those directions. So I'm going to kind of show you this a little bit differently. I'm going to take a copy of our shape. I'm going to make it a new color, and we're going to see what happens here. If I take this original shape, the, the second one, I mean, I'm going to take this. I want to translate according to our direction. So we want to go left three. So one, two, three. And then we're going to go down five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll get our new location of our shape after both transformations have now been done. We've got our, tr our rotation done and our translation done. And that worked pretty well. Um, of course, you can't do this on paper the exact same way, but it's the same thing. Just take each coordinate, go left three, down five, and you'll get the new locations. Just make sure for each one, you label it with a new prime, because this is a second version after the transformation, the second transformation. Our last step is to take the, the last newest one and we're going to reflect it over the y-axis. So the y-axis is the vertical axis right here. So we're going to use this as our line of reflection. And we're going to flip everything that's on the left of the line to the right. Anything that's on the right of the line will go to the left. It's going to make kind of a mess here. Um, so looking at b double prime, that's 4 to the right. So it's going to go 4 to the left. And it's not going to change height. It's going to be the same height. It's just going to flip over the line and go left instead of right. So there we are. So that at negative 4, it would be B triple prime. A is 2 to the left, so it becomes 2 to the right. A triple prime. And C is 9 to the left, so it goes 9 to the right. Again, not changing the Y value, though. It's still negative 7 down. So C triple prime goes here. And then we get this very complicated looking shape where it's overlapping a lot, um, and the y-axis there should be our line of symmetry. And you can see it looks a little bit off because my lines are not perfect. Uh, if I try and move those down a little bit, hopefully it looks a little bit better. Let's see if this looks a little better. Yeah, a little bit better there. 
Um, so again, the line of, of reflection is the y-axis. That should be our line of symmetry, and it's about right. This, this tool is not the best on my iPad here, so it's a little bit hard to tell, but that is the line of reflection, and we're done. We followed all three steps. We did all three transformations.